So, Bonzo's Montreux. Question. Single bass drum or double bass drums? I don't know. I think it's worth exploring that question. I've been thinking about it a lot more lately because I did a quick video recently for People's Front of Zeppelin's Instagram account and posted it on Bonzo's birthday on May 31st. And in working through it and playing it, I was thinking about how at times that beat is, some of the beats he plays are some of the most challenging drum beats of all of his to play. Um, and actually I would say that there's one section in particular, it it's, comes very early on in the piece, after the very first section, the first beat, which is not that complex. The the very first thing he plays is pretty straightforward. It's like doom do do bop do 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 bop do do bop do doom 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 bop do 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 bop. So then he takes a break. Then after that first break, he goes into another variation, which is sort of inverted, and the bass drum is playing uninterrupted sixteenth notes. So that beat is that is for me probably the most challenging John Bonham drum beat to play and it only happens for a few bars but sustaining that bass drum pattern while playing the other stuff on top and playing the crash at the top of each bar is quite difficult to do and to make it feel relaxed and in control. Um, and then there are other parts where he's playing that same kind of 16th note pattern at that tempo uh, while he's playing fills across the toms. And the fills are like, you know, going from the snare across the toms and he's doubling with the with the foot. Da 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 even when the song first starts, the the introduction, the very opening. It's a similar kind of thing. So I've thought about this for a long time, um, not just because it sounds like it could be double bass drums, um, but I recall reading somewhere, and I don't remember the source, but or if it was a reputable source, but just somewhere I read that it was the only instance where Bonzo used double bass drums in the studio. And, you know, that without having evidence like photographs of the session or having some kind of detailed notes from the engineer or someone who was there, Jimmy, for example, um, that's pretty much impossible to know. Uh, but what we do know is that it was recorded in September, I believe, of 1976. And Jimmy, of course, was there producing it and uh, adding some effects through a keyboard with a harmonizer effect to get that steel pan sound. And there's a lot of multi-tracking of the drums. At times you can hear double or maybe even triple tracking, especially toward the end. But that bass drum thing, you know, the, the beats that he plays, they're very challenging to sustain that. Um, that's not to say it's impossible, it's possible to do it. And of course, with Bonzo's right foot, I'm sure he could play 16th notes at that tempo and sustain them. But there's something about the feel of it that makes me question if it might have been double bass drums because there's also nothing that I'm aware of in his recordings or live work that sounds quite like that. I've listened to countless hours of bootleg live recordings and as you know I've studied the studio recordings for many many years and I don't recall ever hearing anything quite like that in his work. Um, you know with those sustained 16th notes coming from just the the right foot like that. Now, I have a theory and it's it's just a theory, but I wonder if he possibly brought a different drum set to the studio. 
in Montreux for the recording. The piece is obviously focused on the drums. It's a drum ensemble piece, so maybe he wanted to have a bigger kit. Um, and I also hear some tonal differences in the toms. Like I, I don't, I'm not convinced it's just the standard mounted tom and two floor toms. It sounds to me like there's another pitch in there, especially in the higher toms. Like I hear a do 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 do. I hear four tones. Uh, maybe it's an oral illusion, but um, I'm curious to hear if anybody hears the same thing that I'm hearing. Um, but a lot of those fills that go around the toms, I, I, I feel like I can hear a different, a different sound in there that's a different pitch. Now, he had a kit that some of you may be familiar with was um, a Vistalite kit, but it was black and white swirl. I think he actually had a couple of these. I think one of them was given to Chris Welch, who later either sold it or gave it to Mick Fleetwood. There's some pictures of them together. And that kit was more typically like the classic Bonham Vistalite kit with a 10 by 14 and two floor toms um, and double, double headed. But the, the, the kit that I'm thinking of had concert toms, two mounted toms that were not, they did not have bottom heads, they're concert toms. Floor tom, I believe, had a bottom head. And in the pictures, um, I'll try to post a couple up in the corner here. In the pictures where he's playing at home, um, you can see the, the two concert toms and he's got one floor tom, although I'm sure he probably had at least two floor toms. And you can also see in the corner behind him a spare bass drum in the same finish. So my theory is that he may have taken that kit to Montreux to record Bonzo's Montreux with it. Two bass drums, two mounted toms, and two floor toms. And that would explain maybe some of those sonic characteristics that are really unique, I think, to Bonzo's Montreux. So, um, again, with the absence of, you know, any kind of detailed notes or proof in photos, it's virtually impossible to know. But I think it is an interesting notion, and I am curious to see what your comments are, uh, what you think about this, this idea. So, um, I'll play the video now, and I hope you all enjoy it. And thank you very much, as always, for subscribing and for following my account. And I hope everybody is staying safe and in good health and in good spirits. Here's Bonzo's Montreux preview. <laughs>